Hi everyone, this is Fiona at Drawings in a Drawer. My gosh, it's been ages since I last uploaded a video. I'm so sorry about that, but we all know what sadly has been going on in the world, what has still been going on. I still feel absolutely, it still feels absolutely crazy. Of course, I, like most of you, had other priorities like homeschooling my kids, etc. Anyway, let's just jump right into this new video. As you can see, I'm unboxing this set of White Knight's watercolour paints. They're beautiful full pan paints which hail from Russia and are somewhere between student grade and artist grade. I believe they're definitely a good bargain and personally I love full pans because it's so wonderful to be able to scoop up all that paint without having to worry about picking up some of the paint in the next well or damaging the bristles of your watercolour brushes. Um, this palette comes with a swatching card and a plastic, let's call it, mixing tray, which I personally find really handy. The pans slide around the box, so I later went in and stuck them to the bottom of the box with blue tack or patafix or whatever it is you call it in your country. It's kind of like kneaded eraser. Uh, actually, maybe kneaded eraser might do the job just as well. As you can see, I'm unwrapping this cadmium yellow, which is the first pan in the box. And the wrapping's kind of sweet, actually like candy wrapper. These looks like look like chocolates. And yeah, the pans are nice and full and the colours are vibrant. Sorry about that nail polish, but that's the way it is. I don't think it's going to get any better anytime soon. So, um, well, I just wanted to, you know, before discussing these paints and my painting process and how things have evolved during this crazy, crazy, crazy time. I just wanted to ask you, how are you? How are you all guys? Have you been painting? Have you felt stuck in an art block? I feel people have been swinging between these two positions a lot, and I think it's absolutely normal. I always find uh, Instagram helps a lot. Uh, I only follow art accounts, so every time I go on Instagram, I am flooded uh, with art by some of my favourite artists, and I find that really gets the cogwheels turning and blows the cobwebs away. In fact, I think Instagram art accounts were what got me into watercolour in the first place. When I know I don't have much time on my hands, which is quite often recently, I try not to go on there too much because as soon as I see someone painting something that I like, I just get that urge to dash down to my so-called art studio slash spare room or storage room and grab my paints and start painting. What inspires you when you're in an art block? Let me know if you if you feel like it. So um, I would definitely, um, I know in the past I made a video where I thought, I said, I claimed that Kur the Japanese watercolours, Kuritai Gansai Tambi, would be the best option for a beginner looking to you know, learn and dive into the world of watercolour without splurging, you know, too much money. But after trying the White Nights, I would definitely say that at less than 30 euros, which is about more or less the same, maybe $30 or $32 on Amazon for 24 full pans, the quality of these watercolours is really, really high, considering the paper I am swatching them on is not 100% uh, cotton watercolour paper, so it's not high quality watercolour paper. The, um, the result you would see on a high-end uh, watercolour paper would definitely be much better than what you're looking at uh, on this video. But my gosh, the quality of these um of these paints is definitely really superior to their price tag. So yeah, um, they're my new favourite when it comes to, let's say more towards student grade uh, watercolours. So recently I have been reaching for these paints a lot as the range of colours in, in the box is ideal for me. I like earthy tones and reds. It also has a lovely ultramarine blue, which I which began to crack after a while. It was the only pan that happened to, uh, which was quite strange. But I have to say it works just fine. I've had no issue with it whatsoever. 
and it has a very nice green that is close to an olive green, which I often like to use for shadows on the skin. I usually use ultramarine blue or um, yeah, kind of olivey green or purples for shadows on the face. And I really like the effect of that. Uh, going back to the earthy tones, it has an English red, a red ochre, raw sienna, amber, burnt amber, amaris brown, which I use a lot. I literally just swipe my brush randomly across these pans, the ones that are in, in a row down at the bottom. And I love the effect I get. I love the, the pigment I get by doing this. And it really does have a lot of earthy tones for those of you out there who like earthy tones. For our 24 pan palette, it does have a lot of those. I also really love the Madder Lake Red Light it has, and I use that a lot for the skin, um, for mixing with the yellow ochre. Yeah, I mix it with the yellow ochre and it gets a nice kind of, uh, let's call it, um, skin colour. Well, I am going to continue swatching these paints, and if you don't like watching swatching, I will just let you know that if you jump straight to uh, minute 7.40 seconds, you will be able to uh, check out my painting process. I will be painting a portrait with these watercolours and I will be talking about how my art has developed over the past few months and how I'm feeling about it and more artsy stuff. So that if that's more your thing, I'll see you in a few minutes. Here we are again, and I will quickly tell you about what's been going on in my life. Well, in my art life, mostly, let's say. Some of you might know I live in Italy and we went into lockdown early in March. It was very scary. We were, I believe, the first country that was struck hard in Europe. So we had no idea uh, as to what was going to happen because basically we had nobody to look at. Uh, I still remember the day they announced the schools were closing and all the kids were jumping up and down for joy and I literally thought they'd be back at school the following week. Little did we know they wouldn't be going back at all. Not until September at least, which is after the summer holidays, which is a long time from March till September. That's mind-blowing. Well, all of it is just... Well, anyway, I promised myself I wouldn't talk about this too much. Um, this is an art channel and we are going to talk about art. So I really ended up painting a lot during the lockdown. Every evening at six o'clock, I'd sit down and paint for three hour, two or three hours, maybe not always three hours straight. And it became my ritual, my calming ritual, my time off, or maybe I could call it my time in. And I noticed my style was starting to change. I always try to convey an emotion through my pieces, even when I used to only use pencils and just draw. Uh, either through poses, hands very often can express strong emotions or entwined limbs. But in portraits, of course, it's most often the eyes that become the focus. And that became even more fundamental for me. And I began to feel that I needed to paint looser to get in the zone and go more towards getting that impression down on the paper rather than being super fussy about all the little details. I started telling myself, or rather I started realising that I wanted to create puddles and splatters and then have something peek through that. 
And well, it isn't easy. It wasn't. And it still isn't easy because in watercolour, I feel losing control is actually learning to dare to create an absolute mess, which is scary, and being able to get it to go in the direction you want it to go in or just basically being happy with what you end up with, which is not very easy because, as most of you probably know out there, it's rare for an artist to be super happy with what they do. In this painting, which I was very happy with, actually, for once, um, as it turned out, I did that. I dared. I wanted one cheek to be super bright, super pink, so I went for it. I wanted a random splatter on the right side of the face, so be it. The shadows are more dollops and puddles than they used to be in my previous paintings, and her hair is wispy, definitely not luxuriant. The eyes, uh, someone commented, are watery. Has she been crying? Someone said to me on a DM on uh, on uh, Instagram, mentioned the, this portrait as the crying girl. Has she been crying? To me, she hasn't. Or if she has, it's because something or someone moved her to tears or joy or emotion. But to be quite honest, I am pretty happy with anyone taking away whatever they want from any of my art or pieces. But to me, it's never a negative emotion. Or if it is, it's only so you can come out of the other end healed or wiser or stronger. My advice is, if this is what you are looking to go towards as well, loosening up your art and becoming more creative with it and stretching your boundaries, literally don't be afraid to create a mess because it's quite honestly inevitable, not only in the beginning, but also as you grow and evolve. And if you are scared to try, you won't find that path towards your personal style. And most importantly, you won't discover new things about how watercolour works, what you can do with it, uh, and how you feel about your art. In the end, I went in and added these blue petals on her neck and cheek because I wanted her to be at one with nature, to the extent that a plant might feel happy, at ease, growing up on her body and that they could be intertwined. Yeah. So I would say that's all for today and it's been so great catching up with you guys again. I hope you will stay with me on this journey and uh, please, please hit the like and subscribe button and the bell if you want or if you don't feel like it, that's fine. Just as It's just okay. <laughs> and if you want to check out more of my work, uh, my Instagram handle is drawings in a drawer and I post regularly on there. You'll find everything in the box down below. Until next time, keep painting, keep creating, and see you soon. <laughs> thank, thank you for staying till the end. Sorry about my voiceovers. <laughs>